Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 195 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you, you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. So basically, they give you the um, probability function. When they say calculate the mode, we know mode is when the probability is the biggest. You, you learn in elementary school, like, oh, mode is like 1, 2, 2. If it's like 5, 5. It's where it most happens, something like that, right? Well, where, when it most happens, when it happens the most, the probability is going to be the biggest then, right? Like if this is like one and this is like five, it's going to be the biggest at five. So it's going to be like a little plateau or also this is going to be where the slope is equal to zero. So then we can actually set this. Oh, and it's proportional too. So we know there's a C in there, but the, you'll notice that you won't actually have to find a value of C. So we're going to take the derivative of this um, take the derivative in terms of x, c x e to the negative x squared. When you take the derivative, this is actually a um, chain rule. So this is equal to <laughs> um, taking the chain of the first one will be c e to the negative x squared plus c x, taking the derivative of the second value here, e to the negative x squared times negative 2x. So this is also equal to when I factor out the c e to the negative x squared you get 1 plus negative 2x squared. Do you agree? I think so too. <laughs> so then this, I can set it equal to 0 to see where this little, where the most is, mode is. So I can set this equal to 0. This one's going to be 1 equals 2x squared. x is equal to 1 half. And then x is equal to square root of 1 half, which is equal to... 0 0.707, which is approximately equal to 0 0.71, our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!